Hey guys, happy go lucky here, back for another maths question of the day. Today we're moving through the IGCC 2020 specimen paper 2, the extended questions. Today's question is about probability tree diagrams, and it goes as follows. A soccer team plays two matches. The tree diagram shows the probability of the team winning or losing the matches. The first match, one third win, two thirds lose. The second match, three quarters win, one quarter lose. Find the probability that the soccer team wins at least one of the two matches. Press pause, have a go at the question, and I'll be back with the work solutions in five, four, three, two, one. Okay guys, back with the work solutions. One of the first things you need to do when you're looking at probability tree diagrams, if the branches have already been filled in, which they have, one third chance of winning the first game, and three quarters chance when in the second game. So regardless of what happens for the first game, the odds are still the same for the second game. So it's like an average team playing a good team in the first match, and then they go and play one of the weaker teams for the second match. Just because they win or lose the first match has no effect on how they play the second match. So this is called independent probability. One doesn't have any effect on the other. The question we're asked to do is to find the probability that the soccer team wins at least one of the two matches. So that can be a win of both games, a win and a lose, a lose and a win, but not a lose and a lose. So I think the best way to do this is to just work out this tree, the lose-lose, and take that away from 100%. The other way to do it is to sit and work out all the options, win-win, win-lose, lose-win, and add those three together and just don't include the lose-lose. So a bit of common sense tells me we're going to do just lose-lose, as that's the only one that we don't want, and then we'll take that away from 100%. Okay, so how do we actually work out these trees? All you have to do is just like multiplying fractions. There's a two thirds chance of losing the first game multiplied by a one quarter chance losing the second game. So we're just gonna do two thirds multiplied by one quarter, and that's the probability of losing both games. To multiply fractions, you just multiply the top, multiply the bottom. So there's a two twelfths or a one sixth chance that we lose both games. That's the only time where you haven't won at least one of the two matches. So basically we need to work out 100% or one take away, lose, lose. One take away, one sixth. Well, if one is six sixths and we've got to take one sixth away, the final answer is five sixths. If we played this tournament, six times in a row, five times out of six, we would have won at least one of the two matches. So there's your answer, five sixths. Three marks available for that question. The first mark for doing any kind of multiplying fractions. The second mark for understanding we've got to take away from one. And the third mark, obviously, for getting the final answer. If you'd have gone the other way around, if you'd have just multiplied and added, you would have got one mark for, again, attempting to multiply some fractions a second mark for adding the three together, and then the third and final mark for actually getting the right answer, five, six. Whichever way you went to go about it, the answer's five, six, and that's three marks. Okay, hope you enjoyed that one and learned something from it. I've been Have A Go Lucky, and today you've been calculating from probability tree diagrams. Good for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.